Hello friends, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located on Main Street in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the new Ultra Escalante 2.5. This was originally supposed to come out in June of this year, but with everything that's happened, we're seeing again a lot of stuff that has been pushed back and a lot of things are coming out right now in August. I'm recording this in mid-July, but this shoe will be available by the time that you see this review. There have been a ton of things coming out like right now, so there's been a lot of reviews that we've been putting out and just a lot of great stuff coming out. So whether you're looking for something brand new and you're excited for updates or you're looking to find maybe that sale shoe from last season or trying to snag a deal on things that are going off of what uh, they are MSRP'd at, this is a great time for shoes just in general. So um, the Escalante 2.5. The original Escalante was a game changer and it was really for us the most popular ultra shoe that we had had up to that time. People were really excited about it. It was very different from what people had been used to. Um, it was a really fun, bouncy shoe and it got people excited about something different besides just what they had been accustomed to. Even from ultra, it was very different and out there and people really enjoyed it. And they made some tweaks and changes and came out with the 1.5 and a lot of those changes were really positive. Just better fit, um, you know, maybe a little more durability, a different heel cup, just, you know, good down the road changes that you'd expect to see from a brand as they're moving through the progression of a new shoe. And then version 2 came out and people were not happy. We really um, didn't have as much success here as we had with any of the other previous iterations of this shoe. And you know, it's a good indication of how well a shoe is doing because at the end of the season, if you can find a lot of shoes that are on clearance, that means um, they had a lot sitting around and they didn't do as well as expected. And there's a lot of Escalantes too sitting around. Um, where at the end of the 1.5 cycle, and especially right after 2 came out and some initial feedback came out, you could not find a 1.5 anywhere. We were getting calls quite frequently from people that were trying to hunt down more 1.5s. And we even saw people that were selling brand new pairs of 1.5s on the secondary market after the two came out for more than what they had paid for. You know, people that were going with one 130, so $130 when it came out and people were selling it, we all saw it to 150, 160 people that were trying to make a couple bucks because people were clamoring for that shoe. Um, there was things right out of the gate that people didn't like on the last version. And I, I said in my review of the 2.0, I said, if you were looking for the Escalante to, to maybe get a little bit snugger and a little bit firmer, then you're really gonna enjoy this shoe. Turns out most people didn't enjoy those changes. People that were new to Alter or new to the Escalante, they, they were fine with it. But people that had come down from the one and the 1.5 really didn't like some of the changes. So um, there was some trepidation, uh, what was gonna happen with the 2.5. And um, you know, I kept hearing from Ultra and my rep and people saying, wait till the 2.5 comes out because people that that liked the one and the 1.5 are going to be really excited about the additional changes that have been made in the 2.5. Um, I wish they had changed it from a 2.5 and just make it a 3. I think sometimes it's confusing when you just call it a 0.5 because some brands will do a 0.5 and it's just a color change but when you really change a shoe it'd just be nice if we went up by full number. So this is the 2.5 so this is version 4 of the Escalante the 2.5. So um, it's shaped just a couple of the little things. This is a neutral trainer from Ultra. So um, it, it goes up against shoes in the Ultra category like a Torin and such like that that is just a neutral trainer. It's a very different neutral trainer, but this is an everyday training shoe. And it seems kind of odd because it is so minimal. You know, when we would have people pick up the old versions, any version of they're picking up a one or whatever they're picking up, it looked like a skate shoe. That's what I always described it as. Like it doesn't look like a real running shoe, but there's so much going on with this shoe, but it just looks so casual and fun. And people say, this is kind of cool. I like the toe box and stuff. I'd like to put it on my feet and just see how it feels. Um, but then they start walking around and they feel like it's a very different shoe than what you're expecting when you put it on your feet based on how the general appearance is. So, um, the difference that right away is the weight came down a little bit and we've been seeing that across board on a lot of brands that, that weight is continuing to get better and better on shoes. I guess it's technology is getting better and we're seeing the feedback of where we can maybe make adjustments that's going to take away some weight. This has gotten lighter. So we went from 8.8 .8 on the men down to 8.5 and on the female we went from 7.4 down to 6.9. So nothing crazy but if you're comparing it to like the Escalante Racer, um, this is like a whole ounce and a half lighter than this. So this is sort of the fast paced version of the Escalante. Um, it's two millimeters lower. It's got a couple bucks more in the price point for 140. It's a little more balanced to it, a little less protective. Again, it's called the Escalante Racer for a reason. It's definitely a race day shoe or like a workout shoe or some of you just want something even lighter and even faster. Um, this is your Escalante Racer. So um, this guy did shave weight from the two down to 2.5. 
So let's talk about what makes this shoe special and really what compares this shoe, what, you know, what makes this shoe so different from another shoe from the Ultra family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use just by comparison, this is a Torn plush. So this one just came out, this is the 4.5 plush. So this, you can see how much higher the stack height is compared to this. You can see that this shoe um, has a little bit of different, different of the outsole to it. Um, the main difference that I use when I'm trying to describe the differences between these two shoes, because technically they're both neutral trainers you can use for kind of everyday stuff. Um, if you think about this shoe, and really most of your everyday running shoes, think of this as your squishy Nerf ball. This shoe is designed to sort of compress as you're running and expand when you're off your foot on it. And um, it feels great, it feels protective, you can sink into it, blah, 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 blah. Nerf, squishy, football. You're looking at an Escalante, this is a basketball. That's my, that's my best way to sort of articulate that, is this shoe is energy return. This EGO rubber blend that they're using on here is designed for bounce. It's designed to let you feel like it wants to go. You know, I have shoes that I call my Ricky Bobby, I want to go fast shoe. This is a I want to go fast shoe. You can kind of feel it, put it on your foot, and it feels like it wants to go. Where you might feel like this is great, and it's really accommodating, and it fits, and it squishes, and it's what you want if you're looking for something that's great and cushion, fantastic. But if you're looking for just a different running experience, these charged rubber shoes, and all brands are starting to do that. We're seeing a big, you know, the change obviously from people putting carbon fiber in shoes or putting charged rubber. Um, this is what that sort of talks about. This is the charged rubber feel that we're talking about. And when the Escalante one first came out, it was, a, it was a very new concept. There really wasn't a lot of shoes out there that had that same feel. The Levitate from Brooks was one that I felt like had a really cool, different, unique charged rubber feel. Um, and we really didn't have a whole lot on our wall over here that was like this to compare. So when people would put this on, it was just such a different sensation when they would bounce around the store, especially when you compare it head to head with something that was more neutral cushion, that was just more that squishy Nerf ball. This just felt different on your foot. Because this is sort of that low stack height, even the arch, everything you can kind of see again if we're looking at comparison's sake, the arch is gonna be higher on your Torin. Um, this is gonna be a little lower, a little natural, and, and you know, a lot of people are just looking for like, I wanna run more barefoot, I wanna feel more minimal. This is a shoe that gravitates them because the, not only is it zero drop like all ultras are, as you can kind of see our heel and toe are on the same platform. Um, not only is this a zero drop, but the arch profile is just lower. It just feels much more like you're going barefoot, but a protective barefoot. It still has just a little bit of protection there, but lower than all the other ultra shoes out there. So people that were trying to really go minimal, this was a great minimal feel. But because it's an everyday neutral trainer, not a racing shoe and not a Vibram or whatever, they could wear this for everyday runs. True story, I have a regular customer here who did the JFK 50 miler, 50 mile race, you know, some trail, some, some trail on the sea, or some, some like crushed gravel on the Sino Canal and more roads. He wore this shoe on the JFK 50 miler, felt great the whole time. He wears this shoes for short stuff, fast stuff. And then my training buddy, he got a thousand miles out of his first one and 1 1.5 shoes. He's a little bit of a nut, so he was really happy and content to go all the way through a thousand miles on it. But he said the durability felt great, the bounce was still there, the material felt great, why upgrade? So respect to that, by the way. Um, so the other cool thing with Ultra, if you're not familiar, besides the fact that it is a zero drop, it has that foot shaped toe box. So some of the complaints that we were feeling and hearing on the 2.0 was that it didn't have that same fit. It really felt much more narrow um, and it didn't feel as, it felt very restrictive on the upper. So I'm really happy to say that the, the changes that we've seen on just those two things is way more positive. You know, comparing it to sort of the, the, the original guy, the one, and just sort of how flexible and how easy the material kind of, kind of adapted to your foot. Um, some people felt that it almost felt too sloppy in this guy because it was all over the place. Some people love that, and the adjustment from the one to the 1.5 was that they just tried to kind of hone this in a little bit. It wasn't too restrictive, it just felt a little more secure. Well, this is sort of the best of both worlds, in my opinion. It has just a little bit better material that's gonna fit well, but still feel loose. I mean, you, it's stretchy, um, it just feels like it's gonna move a little bit better. And then again, comparing it to the two, Sorry, I've got a lot of shoes going on here, as I usually do. Um, this material just didn't give that much. It really was kind of coarse. I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't dig the upper whatsoever. It wasn't that breathable, it wasn't that stretchy, it felt too restrictive on your foot, where this is not the case. This definitely feels like it's accommodating, it's stretchy, and you can move it around, and it's great. Um, the other thing right away, and you might be able to see as I'm moving through this shoe, the flexibility is back. It, you know, it's, it really feels good, it feels bouncy, it feels really easy to move. And again, I really hate picking on this shoe, but um, the two, it just didn't have that. 
I mean, I'm working way harder here and I'm not getting anywhere near the same flex or ease in flex as I'm getting from the 2.5. It feels softer, which is the other thing that people didn't feel like they had in the two is it feels soft yet responsive, which is rare. It fits your foot well. It feels good on your foot. It wants to go. It's really a nice update. It's really been a good change and people who had been happy with the one, the 1.5, um, they're going to be excited for the 2.5. Again, I wish we would have called it a three or just made some other goofy iteration name to it. Um, but it's really going to be back to what this shoe was originally. And we had people that tried to make an adjustment and pivot and going to a Torin or going to a Vanish or going to a couple other ultra shoes or even going to something just different because they were really unhappy when the two came out. So we have been excited to get people that had either lost confidence in the brand or people that just found a different ultra shoe or whatever to get them back in the Escalante and give it a try again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be worthwhile. The price point's still the same. It's still 130 bucks. Um, this is a great shoe that you can use for a bunch of different activities. I always like to kind of say what you can and can't do this shoe. As I mentioned, I have a crazy friend who did 50 miles in this shoe. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend that, but as an everyday neutral training shoe, you can do pretty much everything in this shoe up to your comfort level. You know, if you, if you felt like this is a, you know, you wear an everyday training shoe and go out and do a half marathon or a full or whatever, fine, knock yourself out. If you're looking for something just short and fast, fantastic. This is a great shoe for you. And then again, because it's zero drop, I love this shoe for stuff that's more gym oriented because it feels more balanced. So people that are looking for a, a casual shoe that's a zero drop in a wide toe, toe box to do lifting or side to side stuff or whatever, fantastic shoe. We really like pulling the shoe for a wide range of things just for that reason. And um, it was a bummer that we just didn't have as much success in the two, but I, th I think we're gonna have great success with the 2.5 because the updates are really what people are looking for and what people are clamoring for. And um, I've even seen just like people that were posting on other ultra sites or an ultra was re chiming in. We were seeing people from ultra saying, wait till the 2.5 comes out. They know they've put a good shoe out and they've really put a lot of their name and reputation on it because they have been advertising it. They've been telling people, they've been telling us like, wait till you get this shoe back in. You're really gonna have a lot of people that are excited and happy for it. So. I hope you guys are excited and happy for it too. Again, Escalante 2.5 from Ultra. Uh, it will be available as of now. So you can get on our website at letsrunmore.com. If you enter promo code RUNMORE, one word, run more, two O's, um, we'll ship it out for free and it'll be 10% off. Knock that down to 117. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind, if you enjoy these programs that we're putting together here. Uh, it really helps us find new people. Uh, thanks and as always, stay safe. And uh, if you're ever in Maryland, come by and see our little shop. Thanks.